Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are gonna write the last program of the Python practical list. This is based on dictionary. For n number of students, we have to enter roll number, name and marks. And after entering it, we have to just display the name of the students, those who got the marks above 75. Alright, before directly writing the program, let's try to understand the logic of this program. We need to input the data for n number of students. So let's enter n. For those many students, we need to enter roll number. Then we need to enter name as well as we need to enter the marks. All these inputs we will be taking using input function. Roll number, name and marks we are taking for the individual student. So it will enclose in a for loop which will iterate over n times. All these details we need to enter in a dictionary. For that, let's take one empty dictionary. Then one by one this data will get stored in that dictionary. Out of these three values, the roll number will be unique. So it will act as a key. Then rest of the two items will act as a value for that corresponding key. We can add the data to the dictionary just by using assignment statement. So let's write the name of the dictionary that is student. Roll number will be its key. You can see here there are two data items which will act as a value. Then how to assign it? For that we have two options. We can create list or again we can create the dictionary for the values. If we take some random values for the student, the dictionary will look like this. In the first option, we are creating dictionary for the values. So here is the key that is nothing but roll number and the values is again a dictionary. If we consider the second option, the dictionary will look like this. This is nothing but key and value is a list. Don't worry, I will explain the programs for both of them. First, let's create dictionary for the values. For that, we need to enclose those two items in a curly brackets. The key will be name and the value is nothing but the name what we are entering here. In the same way, let's create key marks and the value will be marks what we are entering here. Alright, in this way, the first task of creating dictionary is done. Now, according to the condition, we need to display the names of the students. For that, we want this value that is nothing but marks because we have to check the marks are greater than 75 or not. When we want to iterate over the values also, it is very easy to use items method of the dictionary so that we can iterate over key as well as values. So for key comma value, these are just variable names. You can take any variable name of your choice. For key value in dictionary dot item. So dictionary name is student and the method is items. Now let's check marks are greater than 75 for that we will be using if. Now how to get this value? We know to get the value we need to write the dictionary name and in bracket we need to write the key. For this whichever name we will write here that will be the name of the dictionary. So V of marks. With this we are getting the marks value. If it is greater than 75 then we need to display the name. Using print, you can display the name. So print v of the name of the key is name itself. If the marks are greater than 75, we are displaying the name. Why we are writing v here? Because we took variable name as v. While writing program, we will take some meaningful name. Hope you understood the concept. Now let's try to write the code. Alright, for that we have come to VS code. First of all, we have to take n number of students. We will be using input function to take input that we will enclose in a integer function because by default input function will change the input in string. Let's write the prompt here. Enter number of students. Now let's execute the loop for n times for i in range of n. This loop will execute from 0 to n minus 1. Now let's take all the details of the student that is roll number, name and marks. Take the meaningful variable names. We need not change it to integer value because we are not working on the roll number. Let's write the prompt. Enter roll number. 
after that we need to take the name of the student so let's write name variable itself input enter student name now let's enter the marks here we must convert the input marks to integer or float because we are comparing the marks with some value that is 75 so let's convert it to integer now here is the input function let's write the prompt now with this detail we need to create one dictionary first of all let's create empty dictionary then we will add these details to it now let's write the name of the dictionary the key will be roll number for this dictionary and value will again a dictionary so we are creating a nested dictionary dictionary within the dictionary we need name as well as marks but it should be in the key value pair so let's create the key for this value key will be name itself so it is meaningful in the same way let's create the key for the marks so let's keep the same name key all right the dictionary got created if you want to print and check it you can write one print statement after the loop now let's work out on the condition for that we need to iterate over the dictionary so we will be using for loop and we will iterate over the dictionary using key as well as values for that let's write one variable name for key and here is the variable name for values which is again a dictionary it means i am giving name to this inner dictionary when we iterate over key and value we need to use item function so students dot items in this way we got key as well as value all right now let's work out for the condition if the marks are greater than 75 then we need to print the name of those students using if we will check the marks how we will get the value of this dictionary by writing the dictionary name and the key name inside the square bracket so the name of the dictionary is data and the name of the key is nothing but marks if this is greater than 75 then we need to print the name of the student so let's use print statement for the same how we will get this name again same thing we will be writing the name of the dictionary it is nothing but data and the name of the key that is nothing but name here we are using the name of the dictionary as data because the inner dictionary name is data whichever variable you will keep here the same variable you need to use rno is the key and data is the inner dictionary name we are accessing the values from the inner dictionary that's why we have mentioned the inner dictionary name here all right i think we are done with the program now let's execute and check the output to keep it simple i am going to enter only two students you can check this program for more number of students let's enter the roll number of the first student here is some name for one student i am going to enter the marks more than 75 and for another student i will enter the marks less than 75 let's enter the roll number for the second student here is the name let's enter the marks which are less than 75 press enter look at the output we got the name of the student who has marks more than 75 look at the marks of the yash he has 80 that's why his name is displayed the output is not that much clear for that print this message students with marks above 75 you can do one more thing print the dictionary so that you will come to know how the data are getting stored in the dictionary so let's add that statement too with that i can show you how we are creating a nested dictionary let's execute this program once again again i am going to enter the details of two students here is the first student let's enter name a and marks will be 90 here is the second student let's enter some random name b and here are the marks 45 look at the dictionary this is a nested dictionary one is the key that is roll number and the value is again a nested dictionary which contains name and marks in this way the elements of the dictionary is getting created again two is key and the name and the marks are the values for that corresponding key
Now look at the output students with marks above 75 and the name of the student is A because only one student got the marks more than 75. Enter more number of students so that you will get a list of the students above 75 marks. If there is no student with more than 75 marks then you will not get anything. For that also you can modify the program by adding else statement. Hope you understood this program so give it a try. Now let me show you the second version of the same program where values will not be a dictionary, it will be a list. For that you need to change only one statement. Here we are taking n number of students, here is the empty dictionary. Using for loop we are taking the details. After taking all the details we need to store it in a dictionary. So here is the dictionary name, this is nothing but key, this is similar to the previous program. But instead of creating dictionary, we are adding the values in the form of list. The first value is name and the second value is nothing but marks. If it is a list, there will be a slight difference over iterating the list. We know how to iterate over the list. Using item functions, we are iterating over key as well as value that is also same. Now the data is the name of the inner list. If you want to iterate over the list, we know we have to use index. In this list, name is at the index 0 and marks is at the index 1. That's why we are checking data of 1 is greater than 75. Data of 1 means it is a marks. If this condition satisfies, we have to print the name. The name is at the index 0 of the list data. Whenever you iterate over the dictionary using item function, the first will be key and the second will be value. These are variable names. You can take any name. Hope you understood both the versions. Whichever you feel easy, you can go ahead with it. Let me execute this program and show you the output. The number of students are 2. Here is the roll number for the first student. Let's add some name A and the marks. For the first student, again I am going to enter the marks which is greater than 75. Let's enter the details of the second student. Here are the marks which are less than 75. Now look at the final dictionary. The key is 1 and the value is nothing but a list. In the same way, second student data also got created. 2 is the key and the value is nothing but a list. And here is the name of the students with the marks more than 75. Try both the versions for different values of the students. Hope you understood the program. With this video, we are wrapping up the practical list. Make sure to explore the videos that cover the entire chapter in one shot for a quick and effective revision. Also, don't miss the chapter wise important questions videos. They will help you prepare even better. If you have any doubts or need further clarification, feel free to reach out. I am here to help. All the best and stay tuned for more upcoming videos.